today we will learn the third parallel adapter and fourth parallel adapter earlier in our previous lesson 3 part 1 we had learned the first parallel adapter and second parallel adapter today we will study the third and the fourth parallel adapter i have already told you that in our previous lesson parallel adapter had four variations parallel adapter had four variations this third parallel adapter which we are going to study now is almost similar to the earlier parallel adapter the category 2 that means the step 2 of the parallel adapter the movements are same foot positions are same but the hand gestures are different the hand gestures what we are using are entirely different from the parallel adapter 2 but oh, otherwise the leg movements foot position foot movements all are same i will show you how to do the foot work and foot movements for this adapter we have to adapt the arrangement is stand up position with added up position we have to do say say how we are using the hand gestures are the different for this adapter in how i will show you the leg movements leg position and foot work for this adapter for this lesson we have to adapt the array mandi stana position and adida mandala stana position it would be like this ta This is the right side, right set. Now I will show you how to do the left side, left set, foot movements, foot positions, and leg movements. As usual, we have to adapt the array in this stana position with arm in the mandala position. We have to adapt ta, te, 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 te. Then we have to face the left side. 
the syllable for this adverb is ta te te ta de te te ta ta te te ta de te te ta this is the syllable for this adverb for this category particular category of parable adverb the syllable is same but it differs the sometimes the counting differs because of the movements of the adverbs that's why the first parable adverb second parable adverb third parable adverb and fourth parable adverb basically the syllable is same the syllable is same basically it is based on adi talam the syllables a ta tai tai ta de tai tai ta now i will explain to you the third parable adverb with hand gestures with hand gestures the hand gestures what we are going to use for this particular parable adverb category is dolam this is dola this is dola and pataka this is pataka this is dola this is pataka the two hand gestures are only we are going to use for this third parable adverb category the movement as i have already told you the movements are almost same as what we have done it for our second parable adverb it would be like this dola hand gesture dola means this is the hand gesture this is the hand gesture i have to mention here dola hand gesture using for nirta that means pure dance step is very rare for this adverb we are using that particular dola hand gesture for nirta see it would be like this ta te te ta te 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 ta ta te te ta de te te ta ta te te ta de te This is the right side, right side of the parable adverb, along with the foot work, foot position, leg movements, and hand gesture movements. For this particular hand adverb, we are adapting dola. hand gesture and pataka hand gesture ta te te ta de te te ta 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 this these are the movements for the third variation of parallel adverb right side right set now i will explain do the left side it would be like this ta te te ta de te te ta ta te te ta de te te ta
tem, tem, te, de, tem, tem, te. The foot movement. First, we have to jump towards the right corner. Pa, tem, tem, te, de, tem, tem, te. This is my right side, right side. Now I will do it for the left side, left side. It should be like Ta, Tei, Tei, Ta, De, Tei, Tei, Ta. Ta. When I put the Ta, my Kataka Mukha is both hands. I am holding the Kataka Mukha hand gesture. Both hands, the hands are open in the form of alapadma. See? Ta, tei, tei, ta, de, tei, tei, ta. Ta, tei, tei, ta, de, tei, tei, ta. 